So, for those who are unfamiliar, and I was one of them yesterday until Stewie gave me an update, um, I hadn't really heard these rumors at all surrounding LSU's football program, but essentially what they are is a female staffer for LSU uh, off the field in recruiting, uh, another male staffer in recruiting, uh, one player and someone else like an on the field, it was an on the field coach. I don't really know how else to say this, but the rumors were they all had an orgy the night after the SEC title game. I just, I just don't know how, what other way to put it. They had a sex party, an orgy, whatever you want to call it, after the SEC title game. These rumors became so rampant that Brian Kelly actually had to address that rumor at his press conference after the game on Monday against Purdue. Now, you want to know how this rumor was started? Snapchat. Snapchat. So, I can't believe that we're in an era where a head football coach has to be asked by a reporter, a non-biased reporter from The Advocate, about a Snapchat rumor being true or not. So, one, let me say this. These are all consenting adults. I won't tell you their names, because you can probably figure that out for yourself, but I refuse to mention their names of people rumored based on social media on this show. But even if it were true, and it's probably not, by the way, they're all consenting, consenting adults. I don't care what consenting adults do in their spare time. Uh, the second thing is that Brian Kelly said it's not true. But even if you don't believe him, the third thing I want to say is, with all due respect, how fucking stupid could y'all possibly be to actually believe? Like, if I actually said out loud, uh, hey, Ron, so-and-so uh, and so-and-so, uh, you know, like, let's say we're in high school, and it's like, oh, I heard the principal and um, the, the vice principal and... Uh, the English teacher uh, at ninth period or eighth period, uh, they all had an orgy uh, this Sunday. You'd, they have real stories. Yeah, they have real story, but it's, you probably think, like, dude, you're full of shit. You're full of shit. That's full of shit. Absolutely full of shit. So I, I don't, this is some junior high crap. I don't, I don't know why I have to explain this. All right, but it, seeing as I have to, let me say this. The player in question about this um, he left because he broke a team rule and there were some issues with grades and he left because he's going to make really good money in the NFL. He's going to be a, a high round pick. That's why. The other staffer, the female staffer mentioned, uh, well, not the female staffer, uh, the male staffer that's mentioned in recruiting got a promotion at another school. So the two people who were involved in this rumor are leaving because they're essentially getting promoted had nothing to do. If this were true, they, this would not, they would not be getting promoted. And everyone else named in the Snapchat rumor, they were all there at the game. The coach, everybody on the sidelines, at the Citrus Bowl, yesterday. You can see them on TV. You can go look up their names for yourselves. I'm not going to, but what really pisses me off, not so much they have to explain this to a bunch of fans and people on the internet, is that... There are two publications, two publications, and one radio personality, by the way, that I just found out about a couple of hours ago, ran with this Snapchat rumor on the internet. Matter of fact, when you type up these people's names, assuming you've gotten their names and somebody you know texted you uh, this rumor, if you go up and type up their names, the female staffer, the coach, the player, their names will pop up. That article will pop up on Google when you mention their names, when you mention her name, his name. So their names get dragged through the mud. And years from now, when they get another job or get a promotion somewhere else, they now have to answer for this rumor. All because of that. So, look, I just... Social media and the internet has given me my job that I have right now. It's given me a free voice... It allowed me to get viewers based on my reputation, based on word of mouth, promotion on social media, and it allowed me to get myself in with Jordy and Jordy to give me this job. It's given me a career. It's given me some notoriety. That's the good thing. But no, it's not true. That's the good side of digital media is that everyone gets a fair chance at expressing their voice. The downside to social media, everyone has a chance to, at expressing their voice. Hopefully this is the last thing I have to say about it because 